Welcome back to our video series on budget impact analysis and health technology assessment. In this video, we're going to be talking about theoretically grounding budget impact analysis. Let's go. So there are two analytical steps. A new treatment must pass in order for it to be added to a menu of treatments that a third party would pay for. This being cost effectiveness analysis and the next being a budget impact analysis. We note that the methods of cost effectiveness analysis are quite theoretically sound, both in terms of economic theory and in terms of clinical relevance. However, budget impact analysis for the most part is not. This is because the way we have discussed models of budget impact analysis thus far are based on an external choice of uptake rates and substitution patterns between drugs, rather than being informed by both a economically and medically sound framework. We ask the following question, what do we need to do in order to use our cost effectiveness models, such as decision trees and Markov models as working models of budget impact analysis. So there is a solution, and this is from a presentation by Mike Paulden from the University of Alberta titled, Cost Effectiveness Analysis and Budget Impact Assessment, Combining the Two for Aid of Decision Makers, which does this exactly. The link to this presentation is in this description. The way this is done is through a transformation of our CE plane and noting the fact that budget impact is simply just a total change in costs. Even though there is currently no working paper at this time on this topic, this type of thinking microfounds budget impact analysis in the decision making of clinicians as they look out on the clinical pathway as embodied by a decision tree or Markov model. So, Let's go and talk about uh, Mike Paulden's approach. So we recall what your standard CE plane goes and looks like. You have your cost being your, your change in cost being your Y axis, your change in effects being your X axis, and you have your threshold value lambda going and coming through there. Now let's go and think about this as follows. What if we multiply our change in costs and our change in effects by N? The thing that is really crucial about this here is that nothing goes and changes with this. This is embodied by our solution concept here because we note that our ICER, right, or our threshold value lambda is just going to be equal to our change in costs all over our change in effects. And if we multiply each one of these change in costs over change in effects by N, they just cancel out and it stays the same. So your concept of the ICER stays the same if we multiply each one of these change in costs and changes in effects by n here. Now, this is where I'm kind of taking the rein here and we're trying to think about what we could do with Mike Paulden's approach. Recall, we're able to go and generate a probabilistic sensitivity analysis, right? And we're able to go and plot it on this plane here. And we have two distributions that are associated with this stuff here. Now, we take each one of these simulations here, and now each one of these simulations takes on the interpretation of a state of the world in which this change of costs are really now what this total change in costs are, and these total change is in effects with their own distributions that we're able to decompose here. This distribution that we go and we have, which is our total change in costs, right? That's going to be something which is going to define our budget impact. Using this distribution of our change in costs times the total number of our target population, the average budget impact we'll see is mu b with a variance of sigma b squared that we go and have. So just to summarize, budget impact analysis is just the change in costs times the number of patients. Paulden Simple's framework allows us to migrate the results of our cost effectiveness analysis by scaling the change in costs by the total number of patients that we consider in our target population. This allows for a direct migration of our theory and results of cost effectiveness analysis to budget impact analysis and also gives grounding to the idea of probabilistic sensitivity analysis in budget impact analysis. This is technically a controversial point because most standards for budget impact analysis for not very well-defined purposes this is just you know, my opinion, are to only perform deterministic sensitivity analysis. Though in this framework, we are free to do both. Thinking of budget impact analysis in the context of the CE plane is the first step to going and grounding these results. So I think this is uh, at the very least um, where I think 
the field of cost effectiveness analysis is going and heading. Um, and it's also something for going and thinking about for how you would go and move your models of cost effectiveness analysis to a case where you go and perform a budget impact. So I hope this video was informative. I hope it was educational. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Take care.